Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rising Super Stream. How are you guys doing today? Uh, we're going to be streaming Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, which I know is a bit of a random pick since we're like right in the middle of Prey and stuff. Um, but Brothers and Edith Finch have just been staring at me on this dashboard for a while now. And I said, you know, fuck it, I'm just going to knock one of them out today. I'm just going to do one. So I, I actually flipped a coin straight up. Brothers won. Tails. <laughs> Next time we'll do Edith Finch. Uh, not next stream, probably pray next stream, but next time it won't be flipping a coin against anyone. So, but I really want to bang both of those two out at some point. Did I score any sweet Amazon deals? Uh, the game deals on Amazon were really poor this year, to say the least. Uh, I got a sound bar for my TV for $60, which is a heck of a deal for a sound bar. It was the Amazon Basics one. Apparently it's quite good, so. Or unambiguously better than a TV's stereo, uh, speaker system. Unambiguously worse than an expensive soundbar, but better. An improvement for me, nonetheless. I also insta installed Cage 2.8, which has just been staring at me now. And I'm so excited to play Dream Drop. Gotta finish Prey. <laughs> Gotta finish Prey. But then we get to do Dream Drop at some point. So I've never played Brothers before. I should actually write that in the description because people will wonder. Um, first playthrough slash no spoilers. There we go. Um, I heard it. It was really good, really special. It's sad even. So I, I'm excited to finally see what all the fuss is. I bought this game on PS3 when it was on sale for like a dollar. And then I didn't play it. <laughs> and eventually it was on sale on PS4 for like a dollar and I bought it again. And this time I'm playing it. I have not played A Way Out either. Uh, no reason. I got it late and then it just didn't happen. So no subtitles. I don't even know if there's dialogue in this game actually, so. Did you see the announcement of the next game from the dire director of Virtue's Last Reward? Yeah, Uchi Koshi's new game. Looks really nice. I'm down for that full 3D exploration. So yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, this is directed by Joseph Farris, who did A Way Out. That's what the relation is. This was the game they did before that. Heck of a step up, right? Now their studio is rather large, actually. I mean, relative, you know. They've done good for themselves. Yeah, the fuck the Oscars, dude. That's him. Oh, I thought this was the older brother. No, he's a total baby, that one. Oh my god, why would you build a bridge like this? Just finish the bridge. Just... <laughs> just put all the wood in. Whole brother... Okay. 
How does this control otherwise? Am I the small brother? Like, if I let go. Oh, you're both brothers! Oh, that's so neat! Oh, they can't high-five. At least not yet. I know, so I know very little about how this game works. Oh yeah, if you use just one brother's stick, they move a lot slower. If you hold both of them in the same direction, this moves a lot quicker. Yo, that's cute. That's good. I always kind of thought, just based on the screenshots, that you just controlled one of the brothers and the other one followed you around, or you switched between them or something. But both of them simultaneously, that's neat. So why wouldn't you just build a whole bridge? Why would you build half a bridge? Oh, you have to get off it. Yeah. There you go. This is the evolution of Mario and Luigi games. <laughs> yeah, if only. Man, I wish I really liked Dream Team, but I don't. <laughs> Building a whole bridge is hard? Yeah, but it's not that hard. It's doable. I mean, hey, if you, if you live on the edges of cliff sides, odds are you can build a bridge. Yeah, the camera work, I agree, is nice in this game. Well, I mean, you know, two minutes in, it's nice in this game. I don't know about the rest of the game, but thus far, it's been really good. Like, fuck, look at this bridge building society. They could do anything. They're too busy working on a space elevator when they should be finishing the bridge. We don't have that much money. Well, ciao. Here, look at this paper I found. It's cool, huh? Yeah, it's cool. That'll be forty dollars. Is that Yggdrasil? I don't know if it's Yggdrasil, but it's some tree. I haven't seen anything. I mean, maybe I don't know what I'm looking for, but I don't think I've seen anything really Norse. Hold L2 to kiss your dad. Hold R2 to kiss your dad. I hope I get to use the little brother as a striker and launch him all over the place for finishers. Isn't this paper sick? Nah. Okay, let's go through the water then, I guess. Hold L2 to throw your brother in head first. They mime stuff pretty well.
<laughs> yeah, it is kind of like the Lego games, I guess. How they communicate. It's true. I forgot they used to do that in the Lego games. Now they actually use, uh, like, voice acting from the movies, right? The only Lego games I really played were, like, after they started using the voice work. Which I know some people expressed was, like, when it lost all its charm. But, hey, I had fun with the Jurassic World Lego game. It was good and enjoyable. This is totally somewhat like trying to uh, rub your head and pat your belly. Like, I'm sure we're going to start doing some really weird shit at some point. But even just for now, the basic stuff, it's, uh, it's tricky to get used to. Oh, Incredibles 2 doesn't have voiceovers from the movie? Hmm. Didn't know that. Explore the open world of this town. So do they have like different interactions and stuff? Well, it seems like they might share it for the most part. They probably have some different ones, but... Oh my god, I accidentally was using the wrong sticks for the wrong brother. It feels really nice to play though. Everything moves really smoothly and naturally. Like it's not as clunky as you might think considering the concept. Okay, I'm glad you don't have to be precise for this because both of them would just eat shit. <laughs> oh my god, who is this kid? Who is this child? After this is the Away Out solo LP. I'd still, I still think that sounds fun as fuck. Oh, I like the big pup. Oh, can I pet the dog? Oh my god, the dog vanished. He ran away too fast. I looked at chat and I totally missed that the dog ran off. Wow, this is cute. The game world is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Or not bigger, but more um, fully realized, I guess. I kind of had this impression it was just two brothers exploring the mountains. But, like, there's a lot of character models, a lot of town. I know it's just little stuff, but, like, that's... That's usually the type of stuff you cut when you're trying to, like, really make your game, um... Like, low on, low on assets, easier to make, you know? You don't have the big village and shit. But nah, they went for it. Can you sit both the brothers down for a dramatic sits? No, no. Oh, yes, dramatic sits. Fuck, fuck. Do a flip. Little brother doesn't mind actively being a shit. Uh, so this is... Aeonic Vector says this is before Army of Two, but unclear whether it's before or after Fear 3 in the co-op game's timeline. 
Yeah, before Army of Two, I can tell. They're still not grizzled yet, and they still don't have their voices or their masks. But that's coming, I bet. I bet by the end of the game. Yep, that's that scene. <laughs> wow, you can, like, interact with everyone. I'm surprised at the amount of, like, interactions there are. Every main thing seems to have something going on. Can you play ball with the little girl? Can you shoot hoops and do sick dunks? Pass. Oh my god, you can. Oh my god, this girl's gonna get bodied. This girl does, literally doesn't stand a chance. That's about 40. <laughs> My ball now. Oh, I got a thing for it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's super charming. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> she has nothing left in her life. I should probably go down that way. There's a mysterious man with a harp. Ah. I like that, how he bows. Can the big brother play? <laughs> That's cute. There's a lot of personality in these interactions. Fuck off! I'm busy drinking because they changed she -Ra. I can't deal with her wearing shorts. Man, some people are taking that way too hard. <laughs> she looks so good. I love the redesign for her. I'm really into it, actually. Okay, time for the hay bale challenge. Okay, so I assume this is where the first death opportunity is. So you've got to distract the dog with one brother? Oh, I see. Just alternate or something? This is a good intro to Horrible Danger. Thanks, Lunatic. I'm glad you're into the game selection. What do I think so far? It's nice. It's cute. It's not exactly what I expected, and that's good. It's more interesting than I expected with the, like, control of two characters. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we're playing this on PS4, by the way, for anyone wondering. There's no, as far as I know, there's no significant version differences. Just the PS4 version runs big and shiny. PC version runs big and shiny too, so you're not missing out. Oh no, don't go down. Oh. Oh, whoops. I almost killed this brother. Oh, hang on. Can he not make jumps as big? Oh, no, the game's not on sale right now. I bought it a while ago when it was on sale. Oh, you know what? I'm just not catching the ledges with him. That, that, that was the problem. For some reason, he did it right the first time with the big brother and on the previous hill, but not on that one. You have to hit uh, the button again to catch them. Yeah, it's not on sale. I just bought it a while ago, and I've just been sitting on it forever. Yep, right in the fire. I don't know what this rabbit's for. Just putting this out there. But it's a different color, so I should probably take it. I'm deeply unclear on what the rabbit's for. <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe, maybe we'll come back to that in a minute. Oh, you know what? Someone just said in the chat, you know, I should have just done that. I should have just done that. Now that you say it, it's really, really obvious, and I don't know why I didn't try doing it. Just dumping the rabbit in the fire pit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Cute. Look, they like each other now. Man, that was like the only possible interaction there, and for some reason I just didn't go for it. <laughs> is this a way out? This is a way out, too. Oh shit, gotta keep running. I don't entirely know what I'm doing with the sheep here. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, the sheep can go on the wheel. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Meh. Was this also published by EA? Uh, this one was not published by EA. This was published, uh, I think, by 505. I think they developed it in conjunction with Starbreeze, and 505 published it. I hear some, some deep sound. Oh. Yeah. 
Yo, check this out. I'll sign it for you. Five dollars. Check me out on SoundCloud. Hit me up on Grinder. Yeah, there's two beds out here too. Thought he was gonna throw me into the river. <laughs> Killing me instantly. Look, we can get dramatic sits again. So I guess we're gonna go there. Oh my god, I totally missed him mantling up while I was busy looking at the mountains. It's true, you do kind of get the feeling you climb that mountain and Kratos will just be there. Aeonic Vector. <laughs> With the ashes. You're not even wrong. Whoops. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> he just died so suddenly. It didn't feel good. <laughs> like, there was no gravitas. It was just a morbid instant death. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Welcome to this full let's play of Troll and Wii. Man, I hope they make a Troll and I too. I desperately need more of that world. Try not to crush his shrooms. I really don't like the idea of, like, growing mushrooms on my body. That's some nasty shit. <laughs> Troll and you for the Wii U. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Oh, he's coming. Submit a speedrun for Troll and I for SGDQ. You know, actually, uh, I recently played a VR game called Dark Legion. It's not good. Uh, I've been planning on streaming it next time I have a couple VR games to stream. Because my first playthrough of the game was 40-something minutes long. And I said to myself, hey, I can get this time down. And I got it down to, like, 11 minutes. And I think I can get it down to sub-10 easily, if I can just get the, the bugs to be more consistent. Um, but I was actually seriously thinking, like, if I can get it consistently enough down to, like, a cool sub-10, then maybe I could actually do something with that. So I'm excited to show that off at some point. As far as I know, there aren't speedruns for it, but I haven't done a whole lot of research are there actually vr speedruns yet yes um if you want to see a really cool one i it was at agdq or sgdq i can't remember but someone did super hot vr no no sorry it was at neither games done quick i'm confusing it with another thing 
Um, this guy just recorded it in his house. But this fucking sick speed run of super hot VR that is wild. This guy goes all over the place. And he has a fun ass time. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm hoping I can get it down deeper for when I do this stream. Right now, there, there's a bug that I'm trying to figure out where um, when you finish the second level of the game, when you load into the third level, there's just a chance that you load in beneath the first platform and you just fall and you can't, you can't continue the level um, and it requires a reload. And sometimes I've reloaded and I've, I've again loaded under the platform and I don't know how to fix it or how to consistently make it not happen. So I don't know. It didn't happen on my first playthrough. It just happened when I started doing speed stuff. Uh, so I, I have no idea what causes it, but hopefully I can work it out. Because when you encounter it, it's like it may as well be a run ender, right? You just lose so much time loading out and then reloading the level. And there's one trick in the third level of that game that, like, if I can figure it out, like, it can dramatically reduce the time for the level. So, I'm not quite ready to stream it yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> it's really not a good game, by the way. <laughs> But if you want a fun speed game, it exists. Okay, I have no idea where the rest of the game's going at this point. Because the only screenshots I had seen were like the boys in the mountains. It's already we're totally at new places. How has my Kirby slide record gotten? <laughs> I actually haven't played Kirby slide since that stream. I, I don't know if I, I think I mentioned it on the stream that I misplaced the card for it. So I only have these saved data on my e-reader. If I ever save over it, I'm fucked. Oh, excuse me. When are we gonna get a collab between me and Kizuna Ai? Yo, she's way too popular now. I missed my chance. <laughs> if I ever wanted to do it, it should have been, like, a year ago. Take care, Mr. Wolfwood. Have a good day. some options here or you know what maybe we don't have options maybe this is just a dead end that's cool too what is all this stuff are these tubes of no I don't know what they are radiators Do you think VR would still work if one of your eyes doesn't work? Um, so my mom has, uh, I don't know the exact name of the condition or whatever, but she has no depth perception. Um, and she has still enjoyed VR uh, for the immersion. Um, for her, you know, it's just like real life she just doesn't get that sense of depth but she still gets to see more so depending on your eye condition um, you you can still get more from VR than you would get from a non VR thing but it, that that depends on what your condition is for sure They need to make a sequel to this where you have to control like five brothers at the same time. I 
and you have to play it solo. No co-op. Just get out three controllers. So are we just gonna block the gears? This seems like a really not safe thing to do. That seems like a really bad idea, guys. Like, you're gonna get across, but at what cost to the village? <laughs> like, you casually cause thousands of damage, thousands of dollars of damage to public property. You can't just do that. Oh, hang on. Yeah, anything to save our dad, pretty much. We're gonna get to the end and they're gonna give you a gun and be like, shoot this guy to save your dad. You do. And then they're gonna give you both a gun and they're gonna be like, shoot 10 more people to save your dad and then we will. And they're gonna be like, shoot each other to save your dad and we'll do it. It's all about hard decisions. Shoot your dad to save your dad. Yeah, yeah, now you're getting it. So I think I've got to invert this thing. Or stop it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Stop it works. If I get the big brother to jump on that, does he also stop it, or does he destroy it with his huge weight? Hey, Conlon Place, how you doing? Use a bailet and kill all your friends to save your dad. Yeah, 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 exactly. They should make a Berserk game that plays like this. You play as Guts and Griffith, two friends on their adventures in friendship. I gotta catch fish. Somehow. Maybe you can't. <laughs> I'm probably overthinking this. You can probably just spray water on yourself. Ash Ratcliffe in the chat says, I was thinking about playing the Kingdom Hearts games before 3 comes out. Well, you're not too late, but you better get started now, because you're going to run out of time. <laughs> if you're just finishing the main stories and not uh, not doing all the post-game content and like trophies and shit, you'll be fine. But you got to start running now. Uh. Oh, I was hoping I could grab onto my brother's legs. Oh, Blue Goose, you just finished 100% in Reach End Memories. Congratulations, it's brutal. Seriously, it took me so long to do that. Getting those last few cards is a huge pain. 
Getting the Aqua Tank card was so not fun. I think that was my last card, actually. Um, second to last thing before 100%. My last thing was the fucking stupid... The stupid moronic trophy for editing your deck 500 times. Who designed that trophy? Who thought that was a good idea? Edit your deck 500 times. I did Riku level 99 first, because I figured if I could do Riku level 99, I wouldn't... I wouldn't have any problems with anything else. Um, but fuck. Edit the deck 500 times is a terrible trophy. Yeah, yeah. Trophies that ask you to do things a certain amount of times are very tenuous. Sometimes they're fine. It's possible to make them fine, but you really gotta understand how many times you do something in your game. Like, there was a Vita game, uh, this horrible third-person zombie shooter um, called, I think, like, Infected Wars or something. Uh, not a good game. And it had a trophy for, like, killing a thousand or killing 1,500 zombies or something stupid like that. And somebody counted... And the main campaign only has, like, 120 zombies in it. So you would basically have to finish the game over 10 times in order to even come close to the 1,500 kills. It's absolutely absurd. Just ridiculous. Because I think you can make those trophies good. Like, I mean, you know, not particularly special, but you can make them fine. If it's like, if that trophy had been kill 150, it would have been like just a bit more than one playthrough, you know? Or if that had been 100, then it would have been like, yeah, you'll get this on the way to your playthrough. But like, killing 1,500 enemies in a game with 120 enemies in it is... Like, are you really achieving anything? You know, all you've done is just demonstrate you have time on your hands, right? Climb both, there we go. Hang on, what was that? PK something just posed. Oh, yeah, zombie genocider and Dead Rising. Yeah, that was kill 53,000 something zombies. I believe that's the amount of uh, zombies in... What is that famous zombie movie's name? The George Romero one. It's super famous. Oh, well, it's fine. I don't need to remember that. <laughs> I believe that was what it was referencing, but yeah, apparently it's not very fun to do that achievement. Dawn of the Dead, thank you. Yeah. Or Night of the Living Dead? Whichever one came first. I haven't seen either of them, so. Yeah, online trophies too, they suck. Like, you can make them suck less, but at the end of the day, they're, like, time limited, you know? When the game's offline, you're just fucked. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> when he just kind of like tilted to the side in the air. That was so morbid. <laughs> the deaths in this feel really dark. The completionist did a video on Tomb Raider with the online trophies. You mean uh, Tomb Raider 2013, like the newest reboot one? I I worked on the online component for that game, and yeah, those trophies they take a minute. They take a hot minute, no matter what you do. You know, one online multiplayer trophy I hate in every game that has it is the like reach maximum level, like get hit the maximum rank. Right now, I'm fucking. I'm still, ever since launch day, straining against the uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 hit level 50, which is the limit. It takes fucking forever. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Yeah, fortunately, stuff like um, Get Highest on Leaderboard and stuff is no longer allowed on Xbox or PlayStation. And uh, viral trophies and achievements are no longer allowed either. Um, like that cool one in Brutal Legends. It's like really cool on paper, but in practice is not that fun. Um, I think Grand Theft Auto 4 also had a similar achievement. Uh, those are those are forbidden. Got to get that key first. Yeah. Hey, hey, Do you like or dislike that the Switch doesn't have trophies? Uh, I, I like it. Like, I enjoy collecting them, but, you know, it's it's nice to not have to fuss about it all over the place. I, like, also, I don't give a shit about achievements on Xbox. I, I really don't. I, I've, I got over that. At some point, when I got my 360, which was well after I had started collecting trophies on PS3, um... I, th I think the first game I played was Dead Rising 2 Case Zero, and I had to tell myself, like, look, you just have to not give a shit about achievements, because, like, trying to collect achievements on Xbox and PS3 just seems like too much, you know? <laughs> this is supposed to be a hobby, and you're going to make it a full-time job. <laughs> hey, Split Voltage. Thanks for asking. It is going well today. Did you try to get all the achievements in any of the Tales games? Uh, no. I think the only Tales game I played on a PS3 or PS4 was Tales of Zisteria, which I did not even remotely come close to finishing. Can I get him in the cage? I don't know if that's... Oh, yeah, yeah, the little brother can probably slip through the back of the bars. Let me just make sure he can. Oh, what a clever section. How fun. Do a Splash Bros. <laughs> right? Yo, Mario and Luigi had great co-op moves. Oh, my God, too early. Let's go back through. Don't worry, this guy's not smart. Ah, fun. Yeah, I have a couple games where I'm stuck at like 99% on trophies because I just couldn't get that last one. Uh, Dead Space 2... Um, I'm missing a few trophies, but I, I basically just stopped trying after I could not finish the uh, finish it on the hardest difficulty, like the Iron Man mode, where your save data is destroyed if you die and you only have three saves. Cause like, fuck, it's hard. Holy shit, it's hard doing that mode in Dead Space Two. It's a little easier on 360, cause you get three saves when you're playing on the Iron Man mode. Um, and basically you want to, like, save the saves for per certain points in the game, obviously. You don't just want to use them immediately. Um, because then you won't. You won't. I mean, you'll have to do, like, a really long stretch at the end if you use the saves immediately, you know? Um, on the 360, you actually get an extra autosave, uh, because it's a two-disc game. And when you switch the discs, it does an autosave. So... 
the ideal route on 360 was a lot easier because you got an extra save somewhere in the middle, which was cool. But I did all the trophies for the first Dead Space and for uh, the prologue game that came with Dead Space 2. I forget its name. Extraction? No, no, not Extraction. That was the Wii game. Um, ah, whatever. What was it called? Let me Google that. Uh, Dead Space Ignition. That was it. That was a, that was an all right game. Ignition. <laughs> For like a free pre-order bonus game, it was, it was good. I don't know. You broke it. So I guess we got to get rid of all the chains so the El Gigante can fall in the lava. Uh, I don't really feel safe to go down with either brother. Do I just bait him? Okay, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Yeah, kill him. As the brothers murder this ogre. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dark. Just tear his fingers off the cobblestone. Just do it. Oh, they switch sides. He had it coming? Yeah, maybe, but... <laughs> kill for daddy. Yo, I seen one of them over that way. Bishomaru, Bishoya. Bishoya. The brothers are the real monsters, right? <laughs> Credits roll. I think the game's supposed to be like three hours long or something like that, so we should be able to get through it today. I'm recording near with Wooly tonight, actually. We're about to get to the major side quest portion of the playthrough. I was thinking for a sec there would be a delayed title card, but no. It's just an artistic star transition. How spoiler-free is the near playthrough for people who haven't played the previous one? Uh, not spoiler-free at all. Spoilers. <laughs> Massive spoilers. <laughs>
Can you also get some fire? Nope. Too hot for baby. Oh my god, they just kill you instantly, even with the fire. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, it does seem like that's the way to go, though. Okay, you gotta get pretty close to them. How is Drakengard 3 minus the obvious jank and performance issues? Uh, it's okay until you hit the very end, and there's a thing at the very end that is awful. And you won't enjoy that. You probably will not enjoy the awful thing at the end. It is torturous, and a lot of players... Oh, wow, that's dark. A lot of players just stopped playing there because it's so fucking hard. But you need to do it for the main story. Man, fuck that part in Dragon Guard 3. Those people killed themselves because we jammed up the cog earlier. Just throw the fire away. What if the dogs are trying to protect me from depression? Well, they have failed. Now the kids will get depressed somehow. Yo, hurry it up, old man. We got places to be. The middle of the night, you should be at the guard post. Not in your house. Do your job that we don't pay you for. Oh my god, you're right, I should have made a Logan Paul joke when those bodies showed up. I like how there's these benches everywhere. They're cute, almost like they're like chapter markers or something. They would have been slammed into that rock. Yeah, probably. Probably. Whitewaters are pretty dangerous, man. I've been whitewater rafting a few times. It's fun, but it's also fucking scary. It's scary when you get dunked and you get stuck underwater for, like, excessive amounts of time. I remember one time when I was whitewater rafting, uh, the raft flipped 
um, and I was underwater for quite a while, and while I was underwater, um, they managed to turn the boat back up, um, and I came back up under the boat upside down, like it was upside down. Oh shit, we got split up. He can't swim though. Oh, this is cool. Anyway, I came up under the boat while it was like right ways up. And I kept just bumping my head against the bottom of the boat and I was freaking the fuck out. I thought I was gonna die. I was underwater for such a long time. It was really scary. I hope to never be underwater for that long ever again, frankly. Did I die? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Whoa! Oh. I didn't think the tree man was gonna kill me so instantly. Oh. This is neat. <gasps> I moved my hand and I bumped my I bumped it against the microphone. <laughs> I just dropped my brother. It's way darker when that happens. Cuz then he has to live with that for the rest of his life. Wow, this is not a short section. How upsetting. Good bro. We gotta go now. No breaks.
Oh my god, he got norted. Okay, that was all in a dream. Okay, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> it's a hell of a thing to wake up from. You ever just have a sad dream and you wake up and you're like, thank God that didn't happen? I've had that happen a few times. Oh my God! Don't! Ah! Oh! Wow, this is way... Darker than I thought it would be. How do I know about Nording? That's Dream Drop Distance. Uh, purely from reactions to the trailer for Cage 383. <laughs> He'll be okay. We got business to take care of. Jeez. I almost feel like you need a little bit more with that guy. I mean, maybe there is more with that guy, but... Oh, jeez. Never attempt this. Oh, and now you've got to hook them. Oh, that's fun. One side has little hooks and one side has little holes. Hey. That's so intuitive. Yeah, I guess you could play this game cooperatively if you so wanted to. It doesn't actually support two controllers, though, does it? Like, I think it's purely one controller. Oh, shit. I'm excited to go there. That's uh, uh, for fans of the previous game. That is Scenic and Orlando in the distance. Two brothers are Ornstein and Smog. <laughs> oh, I want to ride the goats. Do you know when Splatoon 1 and 2 take place on the near timeline? Uh, in like a good spot, I guess. Can we climb the sheer rock faces because we're goats? 
Oh, shit. I don't know if you guys know this about goats, but they can climb straight up walls. Goats are fucking crazy. Oh, wait, this is actually what we're doing. Yeah, okay, 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 we got goat adventure. Let's go. We do stuff like goat. Good luck, goats. Oh, they don't need luck. They're really, really skillful. <laughs> Why do they stay in the farm? I guess free food's a benefit, but... They have unbridled control over the mountain. They could be anywhere. It reminds me of Wind Waker talking a little. Oi! Sploosh! Nice. Oh, I think they can only go so far from each other. Oh, you can play tunes on this. Yeah, it does control really intuitively, Lunatic. It, it's literally just left stick, right stick, L2, R2. So sometimes it's really easy to get them confused, uh, but it usually bounces back. Cute interaction. I wonder if they actually throw out random ones each time, or if it's like fixed the order. We're just gonna borrow the glider, is what I got from that. Yeah, there's a cage in there. I was hoping to like look over and my brother's face would be there.
Okay, wait, I lost the cat. There it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're, we're still right before the Forest King Apocalyptic Express. That's still coming up. Oh, so you move it around by, like, moving them on the bar. Fun. Also horrendously dangerous. Really nice of Science Man to just let them borrow this. I'm unclear on whether we wanted to hit that rock face or not. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. I'm really impressed by the variety in this game. Like, a lot of different stuff happens. There's a lot of unique little set pieces and events. cool actually yeah this is what I saw screenshots of them attached together with this this rope Oh, big jumps. Oh, wait, hang on. I was going to say, I got to build up momentum, don't I? Oh, this seems really cool. Oh, shit. Oh, you can keep building up momentum, I see. Yeah! No, it's a bad idea. <laughs> this is where, like, mentally you're really trying not to make a mistake with which brother you're releasing. this one <laughs> these kids are so fucking strong yeah <laughs> nature in the real world would not allow for this oh my god oh my god that was a bad idea <laughs> don't just try to drag your brother up the cliffside on the other hand Oh, I see. I want to experiment there. Maybe there was no need. Yeah, okay. So a couple things. You can't just arbitrarily jump. 
Like, I can't just jump up this graded surface. You actually have to get to the jump point. But also, you can't just let one brother hang and just do it with the other brother. You have to actually attempt to climb or it doesn't work. Oh, I guess we gotta go around. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like we were built for this. These children designed specifically for this task. <gasps> I thought I released it. I thought I fucked up. Oh! They got me. I just gotta swing him higher, I see. Oh, right, of course, yeah. Watch out for mimics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take care, Jerona Parva. Have a good day. Oops. Oh, whoops, I'm using the wrong stick. Uh. Oh my god, this looks so fucking dangerous. These are just stairs for a giant. I'm also wondering if that's just, like, echoes, or if that's, like, some sort of giant baby. That, that sound. Could be nothing. Could be a giant baby. Uh -huh. 
That bridge could make for an amazing escape sequence. Those. What is that? Was that, was that a tiny dragon? Yeah, this book just has bird pictures on it. That's me every time I go to Ikea. Yeah, a griffin, maybe? Looks like it in that book. And that would make sense with the, the bird book. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Show them the paper. Everyone responds well to the paper. <laughs> hey, Namhart. I'm doing all right today. Can I just lift you up, bro? Yeah. Because my, my train of thought right now is like climb over the cage or climb around the edge of the... Oh, fuck, he just walks through it. That's what it is. Of course, you know what? They taught us this earlier, too. I should know this. That his, his bloodline power is the ability to walk through cages. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Split them wide open. Pull them apart. Oh, it's so cute. Probably intentional, but I think he said the same word when he pat the giant woman as he did when he pat the griffin just there. That's all bloody. Yeah, the only other two-player game I've ever played with a griffin riding sequence was... Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days, so this is, this is interesting. This is really nice though, this sequence, like... I did not expect anything like this from this game.
Oh, look, you can just stand and think on it. Yeah, hold L2 and R2 to pay respects. <laughs> oh, it's sad though. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is this area? Oh, there's a mini bench. Cool, I can sit and look. Welcome to the Rising Superstream. This is my full LP of The Borrower's Gaiden. playing nice with this. Oh my god, help your younger brother, please. Don't just both stand there jumping. Okay, I must have to do something other than leap for it. Yeah, there we go. Stop liking my activity. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Not right now. I noticed, I don't think there's a way to turn off, like, people liked this notifications. You can make, you can make followers, like, you can turn off followers, but I don't think you can get that specific. I need to check. Oh. Yeah, just desecrate that corpse.
Oh, jeez. Yo, this game's rad as fuck. I didn't think it was gonna be such a... a dark game. Yo, look, they're chanting or something. Is that a stream of blood? That seems like a stream of blood. Going through and filling the divots on the place where they're chanting and shit. Yeah, I guess this water just leads down there. Can you climb up this? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can go up around and you climb down that. I see. I don't know what we're shooting at. Probably a bird. Or maybe just a dude. I'm just going to assume he's not still alive. Jesus. What a sobering story. <laughs> he can't do it. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, for a sec I was wondering to myself if they were actually giants or if we were just small. But then I remembered that there were dogs at the beginning. So unless there's also tiny dogs and tiny everythings, then they're probably giants. That trophy kind of confirms it. Yeah, like shit, look at this. What a fantastic ritual. Oh, the bloody footprints. It's so good. Yeah, they're all... What does it say on this wall? They're all praying to... Some dead animal. Oh my god, and there's like a... There's like a big thing above it. It's a little hard to see. There's like a... Some god thing above it. Oh, jeez. It's a cute interaction. And then there, they're fighting... Are they fighting giant spiders? Is that what that is? Time to kill them all. <laughs> I 
What is this bloody inscription here? I'm deeply unclear on what the plan is right now. This doesn't seem like the Oh! <laughs> oh, there we go. This will work. I wonder if they're actually going to be able to give chase or if that's that's enough that stopped them. I can't believe they didn't notice that that one deity was just two deities standing on top of each other's shoulders. Oh my god. This feels great, this section, actually. Feels more or less like just how you do this. Okay, time for the snow level. Okay, let's let's maybe go the other way. Yo, Gex on the Game Boy did have a good ass snow level. Thought we were about to get murked. Yeah, this is the PS4 version, Namhart, so the the effects are probably improved from the PS3 and 360 version. I don't actually know what it looked like back then, but the graphics are quite nice. Like the model quality still shows its age, but all the effects look really sharp.
<laughs> I almost got wrecked. Oh my god, are, are we going to walk across ice flows now? Because I don't see where we're going to go. I don't know if you're aware, but one brother can't swim. Oh, jeez. Oh, and they're just as slippery as you would think, like the brothers slide. When's Glover full LP? You know, I've never actually played Glover. Maybe it's about time I fix that. Probably after Knack 3. Oh wow, these turtles are cute. They have ice shells. Oh, he's flipped over. We need to help him. Or something. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, we put them on the slide. Of course, they love it. Yeah, that'll save them. Now they can suckle at their mother's turtle teat. That's how turtles work, right? Cute. Oh, you know what? I thought I had to do that to let the turtle let me buy. Maybe that was optional? I don't know. Maybe maybe it was mandatory, but... Either way, cool. Where did the girl go? Oh, she ran ahead. And she did not bother waiting up for us, even though we had to save the wildlife. Turtle will remember that, yeah. She's gonna come back as a striker for the last boss. Along with the ogre couple and... The old guy we woke up when we wanted his torch. Oh, and the dude we saved from hanging himself. Yes, him too. He will show up. This is a cute section right here. Can I... I assume I can move the saw around. For, for now, I'm going to just explore down here. Oh, there's... Oh, man, there's more than one snow person. That was the first one I noticed. But there's a bunch of people just... Stuck in the snow and the ice and... Horribly dead. He 
Jeez. This game just has so much stuff. <laughs> this this is one of those games. Oops, this is one of those games like Psychonauts and Kingdom Hearts where I was like, uh, it's probably not as good as people say it was. Nope. It's great. The game's great. Yeah, I don't think I can saw these people in half. Someone asked. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Hey, all ups. Oh, wannabe reviewer in the chat says he met one of the Psychonauts voice actors and she was super nice. Got a signed poster. That's a fun experience. That's super cute. Psychonauts is dope, man. Hey guys, if anyone ever tells you Psychonauts is not good, they're wrong. Shit, these guys got killed super hard. Oh, wow! <laughs> what a build up to this moment. Wow, that's so nice. Like, genuinely, they built up to it so delicately. Yeah. Good payoff, too. I think for now we may need to examine the door with the woman. Ah. Oh, no, we could push the cart right through the bodies. Jeez. This is going to be perfectly safe. Hey, Nai. Oh. Hey, Nai. That one's not working. Hey, Naya. Oh, I need the woman, of course. Yeah. Der. Brothers, a tale of three people. Alternate title, Overcooked Adventures. Yo, fuck Death Stranding, we got this now. How? <laughs> Is this girl altogether just a normal human?
God, this is such a big area, too. There's, like, way more unique assets in this game than I thought there was. It's not usually a metric I use to measure games, but, like, again, when I looked at shots of this, games with the two, of this game with the two brothers in the mountain, I just kind of assumed that was what it had going on. And here we are in city number two. I like how it forces you to split up there. Okay, you do reunite quickly. Libra Zero says, it's nice that there's an NPC to let you know when it's safe to de-stealth. Yeah, I totally agree. Nothing worse than, like, a stealth section in a non-stealth game where, like, you think you're good and you're super not and then you die and have to load back. So it's nice that she's just like, no, we're cool now. <laughs> yeah, I kind of kind of saw that coming when we got to the the tree cutting section. Whoa, the Aurora Borealis at this time of day localized entirely within this video game. God, is she gonna fucking trick us? Cause like... I could believe that. The way she keeps her hands spread out. She's obviously a monster. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, fight your rival. Oh no, she's hot. I hope we get to use this like a spider ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Die, monster. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, do it. Oh, Jesus.
Okay, I'm gonna keep him away from her shadow so he can knock her down, hopefully, quicker. Yeah, there we go. Time to fucking finish this. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking oh shit! I was gonna say this is brothers a tale of no mercy. My god, they murdered her so hard. She really got it. So yeah, right now you only have to walk with the younger brother. In fact, even using the left stick for the older brother doesn't do anything. Doesn't speed you up. Oh, there's the tree. Or a tree. Probably the tree. Likely the tree. Excuse me. Yeah, it's true. Maybe she was getting sacrificed for a reason. Probably. We probably shouldn't have assumed that she was a good person who was being sacrificed. But, I mean, then again, they did look pretty crazy with the bloody altar. So, I think there's room to misinterpret that. Oh my god, you're right, the cave paintings 
leading into the, the ritual sacrifice clearly demonstrated them fighting spider people, or spiders anyway, at very least. Whether they were spider people was a little harder to tell. But you're right. The illustrations on the wall totally demonstrated that. Yeah, I also wonder if that nest was uh, the griffin's nest. Excuse me. It got real quiet. Da, 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 da. It's over. It's too fast. You can kind of see the veins on his face. Jeez, I was thinking he'd do it with his hands, but I wasn't sure they'd actually make him do it with his hands. Fuck. Oh man, there's four piles I'm gonna have to fill in myself. Jeez. My boy, but the brother is heavy.
can't walk around that way. What is this hero music? I don't feel like a big hero, so why is the music trying to make me feel like a big hero? Look, there's two rocks on this hill. For what reason? There's only one of me. Oh, he can't swim. Yeah, it's weird to only use one stick, that's how it feels. It's only the right stick too, not the left stick, so...
So I had to hold the brother's button there. The other brother. The left brother. Yeah, look, so when I hold the left brother's button, the camera zooms in like this, and the controller vibrates a lot. It might not look like much, but it feels really cool in practice. Yeah, I gotta pull the lever. I tried pulling it without brother, and now with. I don't seem to have my big brother powers now. sad with the dad again. That was the, for me, that was the sad highlight. Was the dad breaking down there. 
I mean, Christ, his son died while he was sick and he couldn't do anything about it. I mean, fuck, his son died trying to save him, right? So. Yeah, it was a real good game. Uh, it was good. It was good. It was super not overrated at all. It was good. I The thing that impresses me the most is how, how varied it is. I knew the game was like two, three hours long. And I assumed it was going to be two, three hours long of like carrying logs you know <laughs> and walking through mountains for two or three hours but like there are a lot of different unique areas there are a lot of different unique gameplay ideas there's just a lot of stuff happening in this game and everything feels good too there's there wasn't really anything that felt bad the the wolves were like a little unintuitive for like all of 20 seconds where i just couldn't figure out how to make them not eat me but otherwise, everything just felt really good. Um, and each section was also like a nice length as well. Nothing dragged on for too long. So much like mythology and shit too, you know? Like I, I thought it was just two kids in the mountain doing mountain stuff, but like there was the invisible giant, there was the cult, there was the, the arachne, the, the tree of life, the griffin, giants. There's like a war of giants. Uh, probably, and I mean, some fantastical animals, too, like those orcas that were not just orcas, and, um, the, that other animal, the, the turtles, the ice turtle things. Just some good-ass shit. Oh, yeah, and the goat riding. The goat riding was dope. It makes me more excited to play A Way Out, because I, I, you know, again, I wasn't sure this game was as good as this, so... I, I've heard people say A Way Out is not quite as powerful as this game, but I'm still very keen to play it. Especially since A Way Out is like a third-person shooter co-op game. Like, it must be so much more involved. Playing that as one person seems like a nightmare. Like a complete fucking nightmare. That's going to be brutal. <laughs> like, hardest thing I ever did. Okay, I can end that can end the credits here. Yeah, I still haven't played it. I, I ordered it when it came out, but it ended up coming late, so... Bonus contents. <laughs> By Joseph Farris, right there. What are we looking at here? There's, like, a person lying down, and... Oh, could that be the ritual? Yeah, yeah, it's the ritual. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, this is with the, the giant woman. The giant mother. And then what it actually kind of looks like. Oh, fun. Yeah, the giants. Wow, this is really nice. How they just have the side-by-sides, too. Oh, you could skip rocks at the beginning? Oh, and the brother probably couldn't skip rocks at all. The little one. Fuck. <laughs> I like this illustration right here. The older brother's running form is great. Yeah, there's Suicide Man. He never came back. The fucking little shit in the village. What an asshole kid. The concept art's great. It's really nice. I wish they were a little bigger. You can't you can't zoom or 
go into them, so this is as big as you get them, unfortunately. Full soundtrack in there, too. Nice. Director Hello, everybody. My name is Joseph Forrest, and I'm the writer-director of Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. I'm gonna give you a cool walkthrough of the game and give you some insights and fun facts Wait, how much of the, the game? development of the game. Excuse my English. I'm uh, originated from Lebanon, so that's why I have kind of how Arabic much of the game? English style. But you will hear... Actually, talking about Arabic English and Arabic language, the language for brothers is actually inspired by my own language. In our, and you will actually... People I'm who to check listen how long to this, this and uh, understand Arabic will understand some words. So this will be quite a long time, actually, I prayed brothers, because it's, this is almost a year after we finished the game. But uh, let's see what happens. It's going to be fun, and I'm going to try to tell you as much stories, as much fun as I can. Oh my god, it's an hour long. So just a little bit by myself 54 and my background. Minutes, uh, maybe. I am uh, normally a, a filmmaker, so this is actually my first game. and took a lot of time to make it happen and it was a absolutely amazing experience to make a video game but so hard i mean i've done five features but that's a walk in the park compared to this again it in brothers so uh, we didn't want to have a fucking actually spoken language and the reason of that is that okay i'm not so i'm not gonna of gaming that uh, we're not gonna watch through this whole thing but the youtube video i found looking it up it seemed to be 54 minutes long so, sh like, I don't have, I don't have time to watch it for fifty four minutes. But fuck, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that later tonight. I think probably, or tomorrow, I guess. But shit, man, cool shit, Joseph. <laughs> cool game and badass director commentary. Going for fifty four minutes, you know he's got stuff to say. That's rad. Go reinstall the game now. <laughs> Everyone has to reinstall the game. Oh, well, thank you all for tuning in through Brothers. It was a super fun time. I'm so glad it was, like, really good. I was worried that I'd walk out of this, like, hey, that was lukewarm. But nope, it's good. What are the trophies? Yeah, we can check what the trophies are. We can check. Most importantly, we gotta check the trophies. It's important. It's not important. But we gotta check. You took a break from adventuring. Black sheep. Oh, fuck. Does that mean carry the sheep all the way to the fire pit? Probably. You made someone feel better. You reunited the two lovebirds. Oh, I think I saw the two birds, the two colorful birds, but I don't know. Behind the curtain, you found a secret, huh? Threw someone's ball down the well, you made the bunnies play nice, you made the inventor dance, sounded a giant horn, helped the turtles to see, practice singing, make a wish. I got most of them actually. Lovebirds, since it's a gold, it's weighed really, really high, but I got most of them. So. Cool. Well, I, I mean, I'm going to go back and do those for sure. Yeah, it's not a big game. Two gigs, was it? I see saw someone saying. No, wait, it's 8.3 gigs on PS4. Anyway, it's small on other consoles. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it being really small on PS3, so, <laughs> yeah. When's the next stream? Probably tomorrow with Prey. Uh, is the schedule RIP at this point? Um, I'm just gonna say it's RIP temporarily. I'm still, like, you know, I'm, I'm not in my awful depressive state that I was a few weeks ago, but I'm still kind of getting back to normalcy, and I feel like once... Once everything is kind of back to normal, then I'll, then I'll go back hard on the schedule. Um, but I wanna, I wanna kind of get back to feeling peak, you know. <laughs> like yesterday and the day before, I wanted to stream, but I would just be, I would just feel a little blah when I got around to it. So that's why this is like a kind of random stream because I was just looking through my games and I was like, I really want to play one of these right now. So I was like, fuck. I'll do it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Ah, and I screamed at myself, and then it happened. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, this was a super not depressing game. <laughs> totally. <laughs> no, depressive media doesn't really tend to get me more depressed. I bought Little Nightmares a while ago, too, that I want to do on the channel. It was on sale for, like, for cheap. I don't remember exactly how much. I think it was with all the DLC as well. No, it wasn't. Or else it would say. 
Shit, I guess I need to buy all the DLC. Apparently it's really good, so I don't know. <laughs> one day, one day that'll happen. You guys wanna watch me go for the platinum in Detroit? Fuck. Fuck. I'm not gonna stream it. No way, I'm not streaming it, by the way. Don't even, it's a joke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go full Detroit spoilers in a second. So if, if you're wary about Detroit spoilers, let me do the, let me do the, 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 the donation readouts first. Um, shoutouts today to Afro Sama Senpai, Brophius Awesomus, Pale Blue Dots, Ivara, Stupendous Man 461, Mr. Dr. Professor AJ, uh, my own personal Twitch account, Nopuniz, and Jaruna Parva for their subscriptions today. Super appreciate it, guys. And thank you all for tuning in. Okay, Detroit spoilers. Now, <laughs> this one fucking trophy. There's two trophies, actually. This one is the one I'm working on now. Survivors, keep everyone alive. The only person I had die was, um, oh my god, I forget his name. Oh my god, I forget his name. The, 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 the black android with Kara in their group. He was the only person who died. And I was like, fuck. Well, fortunately, that'll be easy to fix. Nope. You you don't... So you have to play through from the point where they died all the way through to the end of the game. Um, and that took a little while. Luther, thank you. Luther, that's his name. Not Mark. Everyone in the chat's saying Marcus. Not Marcus. Luther. Um, so you have to play through all the way from the point where he died to the end of the game, which is only like five or six scenes. But just like when I went for the Platinum Trophy in Heavy Rain... It's not really fun to replay scenes. Nope, not really. Uh, there was another trophy. This one, I'll Be Back, which by the way, great name considering the con context of the trophy. Connor died and returned at every opportunity before reaching the end. Um, that one's tough because Connor didn't die for me at all. So I kind of, I was like, okay. What's the best way to do this? There must be a best way to do this. And everyone's like, best way to do it is kill everyone as soon as possible so you never have to play Kara and Marcus sections ever again. And then just kill Connor <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> but it still takes quite a while. So that's like a whole other playthrough of the game, basically. Otherwise, everything's pretty simple. It's mostly just like, do this scene a little differently. Do that scene a little differently, you know? Stuff like that, so... It's been pretty straightforward. I still, yeah, by the way, I still got this at the end. Even though Luther died, Kara and Alice left and woke up in the, the garbage dump. They didn't get to Canada. Um, but Luther was totally dead and I got this to pop, so whatever. I'll take it. I mean, it sucks because I basically have to redo the conditions anyway, but for some reason this popped on my first playthrough, so... Yeah. That's my Detroit experience. I don't know if you noticed, I just I just finished God of War the other day. Finally. The fucking... Oh my god, the last Valkyrie fight... I guess we're in God of War spoilers now. The last Valkyrie fight was fucking taxing. Holy shit, it was demanding. I gotta say. Uh, all the Valkyries up till then were nothing, but she just has so much health. It's really the amount of health that's crazy. But, yeah. What did you think of the Alice twist? Um, okay. For me, the Alice thing, my question is just, why the fuck? Why the actual fuck did they make it so that Kara saw the, the Alice manual? I would have been so much more, like, I would have liked the twist if they would have just been like, Kara didn't know. Kara was genuinely surprised by this. She had no idea Alice was an android. But there are a few things that make that weird. Of course, they immediately show a flashback to... She saw the fucking manual, and she just, as Luther puts it, I guess, didn't want... Like, she was just looking for someone to take care of. Which kind of... Uh, like, just... Fuck, why did she have to see the manual? The manual... They just, just write the manual out of the game, and you fix that... Or you improve that scene dramatically um the other thing is like yeah why is alice missing her her ring 
on her forehead. Like... <laughs> Where'd that go? Because um, I, I like the idea. Early in the game, my girlfriend and I suspected, because we were playing it together, we suspected that Alice was an android, because like, we found a magazine that talked about child androids, and we were like, this se even in a David Cage game, this seems purposeful. And sure enough, that was the end conclusion there. But like when you get to the scene and they flash back back to Kara having seen the manual, you're just like, come on, you didn't, you really didn't need to do that. You really didn't need to do that. So, um, otherwise, otherwise, I thought it was a good idea for a reveal. I thought the execution wasn't dead on. What did I think of Detroit overall? Uh, Kara's Kara's story was all right. It was like, it's like inoffensive. Like not that much happens, but there's there are some nice scenes. There are some fun scenes. Luther ended up being cool. Um, I like the twist they were going for. I don't think they really nailed it. Uh, the ending in the dump site was nice. Uh, it was kind of like a tragic but nice ending. Um, and. I still have yet to see the Canada ending, so I don't I don't know what that is yet. Um, Marcus's story, I think, was the weakest one. Mar Marcus had some cool sections where he got to do sick fights, like, like okay, in the protest at the end, um, the scene where the uh, police or the SWAT or whatever whatever force they are, the scene where they break into your protest site and they start shooting it up and stuff, and Marcus is like flipping around saving everyone is so cool it's really cool um and in that one scene on on the boat where everyone meets up like near the end of the game uh there's a lot of cool action bits with marcus like there's a lot of cool shit marcus gets to do but then that's mixed with the whole like i have a dream shit and you're like wow this is incredibly tone deaf. I feel like it's naive more than anything, you know? Like, I don't feel like they're trying to take shots, but I do feel like it's it's way too on the nose and naive, you know? Uh, but nonetheless, there were cool things. And I feel like just with every other, I say every other, I mean, just like Heavy Rain, uh, if, you, if you take the scenes individually, they're all pretty badass. For, for one reason or another, right? There aren't usually that many scenes that are just outright dumb no matter how you look at them. But when you string it all together, it's pretty dumb. Uh, I really liked his relationship with um, Leo and uh, your fucking, your, your dad, your dad man. Um, I really liked that and how that came back at the end of the game. Um, if you if you kept him alive, I don't know if he dies if, if you don't fight Leo because I did fight Leo, but um, that was a nice relationship. Um, yeah, and then Connor. I mean, everyone knows Connor is the fucking crown jewel of the game. All of Connor's scenes, I think, are great. Connor's great from the beginning to the end, and Hank, they're great. Like they they have it good, you know. I don't feel mixed on those two. I feel unambiguously positive about those two and their and their position in the game. So, yeah, that was good. He likes dogs. Yeah, he likes sumo. Everyone likes sumo. I don't know. It's uh, it's a cool game. I think it's their best game so far. But it's it, you know I kind of feel the same way as I did with Heavy Rain, where it's like. This was your best game so far too. You, you need to do. You need to do more. You need to do more. Now, oh, if you don't attack Leo, he has a heart attack. I assume and dies. But yeah. Conlon plays says uh, the Connor actor acted stuff against Cage's wishes. Um, so there was a, a, a bit of talk about how there was some ad libbing going on in Connor's story. Um, I, I've thought about it a little bit. I don't know if it's, like, you know, he has a lot of personality for sure, and that might have been ad-libbed, but, like, even if you bland down the dialogue, Connor's story is still the best one, you know, like, 
I still think they did a good job with that. And I like I, I, I see a lot of people attributing it to like purely the actors went off script, but like Connor's Connor's section was written well enough for sure. Cause like no amount of ad libbing, you know, like they're not gonna let them go so far off script that the game improves that dramatically, right? Like it's not the difference between Marcus's story and Connor's story, just ad libbing. But it was fun. Uh, it was a fun game. It was enjoyable. Yeah. Um, yeah. I need to finish Dark Legion. I'm still doing Dark Legion speedruns, so <laughs> one day I'll finish that. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, uh, I'm off for the evening. Probably going to stream Prey sometime tomorrow, I guess. So. Oh, you don't get the later scene with him if you didn't attack Leo? That's that's a shame, because that later scene's kinda nice. But hey. Yeah. Oh, the old guy gets a heart attack and the cops shoot you. Cool. Neat. <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> it's one way to write your character dead. I mean it works, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm taking off for real. Um, I don't know if you guys saw uh, Matt and I recorded the uh, Life is Strange, or not Life is Strange, the Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. That's up on Matt's channel right now. It's one video, I think it's two hours long. That was the latest we've ever recorded something. I think we finished at one in the morning, so we were fucking tired by the end of it. Uh, sometime this week, I think Matt's going to come over and we're going to stream some Switch games as well. I don't know 100% exactly what the lineup is because I'm waiting on a review code for a game that might pull through. Um, but we're probably going to stream some shit at some point. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for enjoying the stream. Take care of yourselves. Sleep tight. Have a good one. Bye-bye.